Obviously this one's gonna jump to label 10 because there's no decision being made. Whenever you're choosing something here, for example, this register, so we have to explain a little bit of what a register is. So I'm gonna explain real quick what a register is real quick. So we're gonna click the data button. Data will take us to our registers. I do wanna call out, uh, shift button. There are different types of registers. There's registers, position registers, Carol VARs, Carol positions. Carol, almost nobody's really using anymore. Carol is from the older robots. Uh, whenever you used to program robot and Carol, Carol, and there are Carol variables and stuff like that. Just I would almost just ignore these. I personally have never even programmed in Carol. I've, I've read some code and troubleshoot, shot some things in Carol, but like I've, I've never even used Carol throughout my entire career. Uh, However, registers and position registers will be used very, very much. Uh, we're gonna go over just registers real quick, and then uh, I'll, I'll touch on position registers, but we won't go deep into it. So for a register, only thing a register means is it means it's a place to save data, right? So in, going back to the program, register one. So see how there's a register one there? If I go back to data, register one. That means I want you to look at this piece of data. Okay, and I want you to see what is it equal to. Register one is currently equal to zero. Now, I could either come in here and change this to whatever number I want, right? Now, register one is equal to this number here. Yeah, so if, if, is, if is, would be, we would call like a logical statement, meaning we're gonna make a decision on something, right? So maybe is the part present? The reason why, yeah, and probably the reason why the, the dot is not being connected at this very moment is because you don't understand what a register is used for. So understanding what a register is used for will kind of take you to like, okay, now I get it, I think. So as of right now, I'm giving you a very generic example, and this is not how you would really use this. The only time you do what I'm doing right here, right now with this direct entry is for your own trial purposes, like I'm doing right now. So I wanna see how this code's gonna execute. Uh, so let me just run through the program a couple times and then maybe that'll uh, kind of show some things. So I just set the register one equal to 100, right? Shift forward. Okay, again, the robot does not do, or the code does not jump to label 10 in that if statement. Because if register one equals five, register one equals 100 right now. Mm, very good. So we'll go back to data. We'll turn that into a five. Go select job. We'll run through it again. Run through our positions. Now we're gonna execute this piece of code. So it jumped to label 10. Okay, and notice it did not go to the bottom. It jumped to label 10 with, yep. Yeah. It didn't go to line 12. The if statement, called for it to jump out of the program and go to label 10. So the if statement is the first part. This is the conditional part. If something, do something, right? So every, the things after the comment means to do this. If this, do this. So that's like a good easy way to, to look at these different statements. Now I'm gonna show you something practical, a little bit practical. It's still definitely a, insert some lines here. Okay, and then I'm gonna say, <clears throat> instruction registers again same with the registers i really kind of like to just use these right here where i can build them my, myself uh because you can do more things like say say for instance like up here like i can only do register equals register plus register right but with this down here i can do plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this so i can do a bunch of things in that if i if i want to versus again like this these just lock you into like only being able to perform whatever that function is. Um, I know what I'm gonna do with this, so I'm all automatically gonna choose that. Here's some uh, position registers. So just notice these are kind of here. I, I definitely won't get into that now because it's like a further down the line thing with when we get into position registers. Choose a register. We'll go ahead and use the same register one. We'll use register again. We'll use register one. And then for the last one, we'll use a constant and we'll do it one, okay? Now I'm gonna go over to data. I'm gonna set our data to a zero, okay? Back over to our program. Shift, forward. So I'll just forward through this program, okay? So go through. If statement doesn't execute because we're not at five, we're at zero, okay? I'm gonna execute this logic. Register one 
is equal to register one plus one. Okay, I executed that logic. Now I'm gonna go back over to data. Notice register one is equal to a one now. So that's what my math just did there. My math just took register one, then it took register one again, and said add one to that. Do you wanna do you wanna start in a different position? No, I don't. I just wanted to take me back to where it was at. <clears throat> okay, jump to level 10. So we'll kind of just run through this a few times and then we'll go look at the data. So I'm just running through the program. So like this is like what the third time we just executed. So our data is at a three. Okay. Select. Keep going. Okay, so our data should be at a four now. Data should be at a five now. Okay, let's go look at our data, make sure. Our data is at a five, just to confirm. Go back to here, shift forward, yeah. and it jumps up to label 10.